the most uh, important and useful things in any sort of financial maths is being able to change between a fraction, a decimal and a percentage. Now, there's a little graphic here at the top of the page which might help you quite a bit if you're not so certain about things. But really, you need to be really good at this operation. So it's worth spending a bit of time and doing lots of questions just to make sure that you've got this down pat. You shouldn't have to really refer to instructions when you're doing this sort of thing. Firstly, converting percentage into decimal. Question like this. 60%, if we want to write that as a decimal, 60% means 60 out of 100, or 60 divided by 100. And that's exactly how you change 60% into a decimal. It means 60 divided by 100. Now, of course, I could do that operation on my calculator, but if you're dividing by 100, you should really be able to do with that without using a calculator. 60 means 60.0, doesn't it? So there's a decimal place at the end, and to divide by 100, you move the decimal place two positions to the left. So 60 divided by 100 is 0 0.6. Oh, not 0.60. 53% means 53 divided by 100. And that's how you convert it to a decimal. You could do it on your calculator if you wanted to, or to divide by 100, move the decimal place, which is at the end, two positions to the left. So 53% is the same thing as 0.53. Now questions one at the back of the book are exactly like this. It might be a good idea to pause the video now and have a go at questions number one. The next questions are about changing fractions into decimals. Now, Two-thirds, or two out of three, means two divided by three. And that's how you change it into a decimal. So divide the top by the bottom, or divide the numerator by the denominator. Two divided by three. And for that, it may be best to use your calculator. Two divided by three equals 0.66666. And so on. normally, we would round that off to an appropriate number of decimal places, 0.6667. Three quarters means three divided by four. And that will change it into a decimal if you do the operation on your calculator. Three divided by four equals 0.75. Questions number two at the back are just like these ones. So It'd be a good spot to try some for yourself now. Now we've got to convert some decimals into percentages. Now to do this, all you need to do is multiply it by 100%. So 0.48 is the same thing as 0.48 times 100, and that will convert it into a percent. To multiply a decimal by 100, move the decimal place two positions to the right. And in this case, 0.48 multiplied by 100 becomes 48%. Of course, you could do it on your calculator if you had to. 1.35, change a number to a percent, you times it by 100%, and it becomes 135 percent, moving the decimal place, two positions to the right. Probably time to have a go at questions three from the back of the book. The next step is changing a fraction into a percentage. Now this is a tricky operation because it usually involves two steps. From a fraction we normally change it to a decimal first and then change the decimal to a percentage. But we've done both of those steps separately. So to change a fraction like a quarter into a decimal, you simply divide the top divided by the bottom, numerator divided by the top, denominator, or in this case one divided by four, will change that into a decimal. Now you probably do this on your calculator, but I happen to know that the answer to this one is 0.25. So I've changed a fraction to a decimal, but we wanted a percentage. So if I times that by 100, you get 25%, which is 
0.25 as a percentage. And 3 eighths is a fraction. Change that to a decimal by going 3 divided by 8. 3 divided by 8 equals 0.375. And if you times it by 100, you will get your answer expressed as a percentage. To move the decimal place two positions to the right to time something by 100, 37.5% is my answer. And I suppose you figured that questions number four are going to be like um, these two here. The next example is asks us to convert a percentage into a fraction. Now to do this, uh, what we do is we express it out of 100. 80% actually means 80 divided by 100, which could be written as 80 over 100. Now that's already done the question in a way. 80% as a fraction is 80 out of 100. Although sometimes it's best, if you can, to cancel a fraction down, to write it in its simple, most form, simplest terms. And to do that, we say, is there anything that divides into the top and the bottom? Now, I think there is. I think you can probably see that 10 divides equally into the top and the bottom. So you could cancel the top and the bottom, dividing each by 10. It's a bigger number that divides into both two. And it's 20. 20 divides in there. So always see if you can divide it by the biggest number possible. 20 fits into 80 four times. So I can cancel that. I'll write four there. And 20 fits into 100 five times. So 80 over 100 cancels down and as a fraction in its simplest form you could write it as 4 fifths. 22% as a fraction can be written as 22 out of 100. It's already a fraction. We could make it a bit simpler though by seeing if there's anything that divides into the top and to the bottom. Now the only thing I can see is 2. 2 divides into 22 11 times and into 150 times. So 22% equals 11 fiftieths as a fraction in its simplest form. It's important to remember that 22 out of 100 would be a correct answer, but 11 over 50 is probably just a slightly better, uh, better answer, the same thing. The last questions involve converting decimals into fractions. And once again, I'd suggest this is a two-stage uh, process. Con to convert your decimal to a fraction, it's best to go around this way. You'll convert it into a percentage first. In this case, if it's 0 0.30, what we do is we times it by 100. And that expresses the answer as a percentage. So 0 0.30 equals 30%. And... 30% equals 30 out of 100. And I've got my answer as a fraction right there. It would probably be best if I cancel it down by dividing the top and the bottom by 10. 10 divides into 33 times and 10 divides into 100 10 times. So my answer is 3 tenths. And 0.37, that's it as a decimal. Convert it to a percentage by timesing it by 100. So times it by 100 equals 37%. Write that as a fraction, 37% equals 37 out of 100. And is there anything that divides into 37 and 100 to cancel it down? No, I don't think so. So that is as simple as you can get. Have a go at a few questions like that now from the back of the book.